Hi. Um, Sailor Pluto. Tessa, I guess. Tessa here. Tessa here. And, I guess, Tessa. Tessa, yeah, Tessa. I guess Tessa here. And today, well, what do I want to talk about here? Alright. So, what are we going to talk about? Yeah. All right, you think I come on here with some goal and I don't. On my neck. Anyway, so the last time I was on YouTube, I talked about, you know, being the, uh, the keeper of time and everything and how God gave me that job and how I take that job truly earnest you know and I take that job truthfully um so anyway gotta clean my eye out yeah so I did that now some folks out there might wonder oh how do I deal with knowing that that the world that I happen to be a keeper of is not a world anymore and do we do I really have to talk about that again I mean I already did talk about it oh maybe not alright I did so <clears throat> yeah Alright, but I guess I'll just have to talk about it again because it seems to be one of those things. Alright. So, if I happen to happen to be dealing with death, then why? Folks are like, well then why are you the keeper of time? Oh, well I'll tell you why. I'm the keeper of time. Okay. So God gave me this job of being a keeper of time for a long time. And apparent and <clears throat> and and depending on where and, and from what you read, you know, that sometimes Diana takes my stead. Which that tends to happen more in among it has tends to happen more in the drawing books than it does in a drawing show. Or a live drawing show, though. And a lot of folks wonder, what am I even keeping the door of time for? If no one can time ride, then why would I be happen to be keeping the, the door of time? And Sailor Moon, apparent, uh, and to Sailor Moon, I, it's never really told. But apparently, God gave me the job and don't say everyone didn't have the skill and craft the time ride because you've got the black moon kin who could time ride too and a lot of folks would say well if you were the keeper of time how did they get by how did Ruvius and the sisters get by and how did how did Diamond get by towards the end? I don't know. That was not told to me. And they're like, well, during Sailor Moon Soup, Sailor Moon S, they're like, who was, then who was, who was keep, and who took your stead on Sailor Moon S? Well, again, I don't know. That was never told to me either. My guess would be that it was Diana that did, or someone did. It was never told, okay? And it never came up. So your guess is good as mine, but I would hope I would think that someone took my stead. You know. So, but I don't know who did. Because that was never shown. But but I guess if you go to Sailor Moon Crystal or Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon Hearst, then 
it says the mostly it, it, and it says that Diana sometimes takes my stead but if that's what happened then the de if that's what happened in pioneer it was never told uh, take on it so your guess is good as mine and does it get I don't know barring being a keeper of time no it does not well it does not but I guess you could say at the same time it does but in Sailor Moon's world it never gets boring so I would happen to say no being a keeper of time it never gets boring you know there's always something going on always something you got to deal with as far as being a keeper of time goes so it doesn't get boring you know and everyone's like well why is it that you know so that's about it for me it's anything else I can talk about yeah so okay that's the end of that you know I'm sailed Pluto Tessa I guess or it's not Tessa but maybe it's Tessa yeah Tessa I think okay I'm Sarah Pluto Tessa and I hope you like this film